Hi. I have to dash off, but I wanted to give you the contract first. I'll let you read over the details, but congratulations. And what a way to start off the episode. What's going on, everyone? We have finally earned our promotion to Driver 1 based on performance, which we have been killing it as far as in comparison to Roman Grosjoin. So finally, we earned that first seat. We'll get the benefits of the first team resource points bonuses. We also have an upgrade coming. Downforce is getting improved up to upgrade level 2. And as we take a look at the car we've got, that's the first one we have over to. we got to work on the fuel efficiency and the chassis weight yet. But looking at the vehicle comparison, you can see us right there still in the middle of the pack. We're just behind Red Bull, so it looks like we'll be able to catch them pretty quickly. And then there is another small jump up there to Toro Rosso. And then a bigger jump. Williams, now the third best team. Ferrari still behind Mercedes. So we've got a ways to go before we can really compete with those big name teams. But we'll try to earn the resource points as quickly as we can. But today, I don't know how many points we're going to accrue because we are in Monaco. It is raining for practice session one. I sure hope it is not raining for this race because that will make it even more difficult than this track already is. Very, very hard course. I am not looking forward to this one. I do not do well in Monaco. Just something about this track, the turns, the preciseness you got to have in these corners is just something that you got to really get used to it. Just don't run on this track enough to really get the feel for it and have those exact spots for your breaking points, the turns into the corners, hitting those apexes. And as you can see, so slow trying to do this track acclimatization here, but we actually do manage to do okay, and that is where we will end it. We have the 19th fastest run, and actually three cars there, Lewis Hamilton included, don't even run out in practice number one. So we're back here for practice number two. And it is still raining, and I'm not even going to mess with this. I'm just going to fast forward through practice number two. I end up being the only car that doesn't run in practice two. I guess Lewis Hamilton and Ricardo didn't really have a choice. They needed to get out there and test. On to practice number three. Fortunately, it has stopped raining, so we're able to hopefully finish out these other two practices as this is going to be the tire wear test. And here, and this is what I'm talking about, just something about this track. This car just did not feel right in general. So pairing that with uh, my uh, somewhat distaste for this track led to some struggles on the track. As you can see, we're already 7 tenths. Coming around on the end of this first lap, we are over a lap slow. So no way are we going to pass and get any points from the tire wear test because we cannot beat the target lap time as we fail on that first one. We are on the soft tires, and here I'm going to hit the uh, barrier there. So not only are we struggling, but now we are... Uh, a little bit slower but actually we had a great run through as we're going to be up in the target time so we could possibly pick up some points here as we're coming through holding those three tenths and we are going to come through should have enough as we hit the drs and we are going to nearly run into someone there but we do pick up 10 points so there we go we actually pick up another 10 points on the next lap so looks like we found our groove here a little bit but now the final lap and already having some issues as we're three four now five tenths behind, trying to claw back. It just seems like we either can't keep the speed in the corner or can't get into the power coming out of the corner. That's going to cause us now eight tenths. We're across the final couple turns here, and I'm going to hit the back wheel, slides the back end out as these last couple corners uh, proving to be difficult for us as we nearly hit the bear on the other side. Nico Rosberg's going to go past us in no way. We're two seconds behind, so we are going to fail that test. Now on to the qualifying pace. And here already in these first couple turns, we're already five tenths behind on the uh, lap time as they're trying to shoot for 15th, which shouldn't be that hard to accomplish back of the towards the back of the pack. But for whatever reason, even on the ultra softs, we just can't do it. As I'm 1.6 seconds behind here, trying to pick some time up here through the chicane, we're going to pick up a little bit of time, but still just nowhere close to being near that target time as we are 1.8 coming through these final couple turns we're gonna pick a little time there coming through the last one we're losing time already again and then in this straight even with drs we're really not picking up any time as we'll come across and we are dead last we fail again on lap number two so final lap here last chance to try and pick up any resource points we could possibly go through for the first time failing multiple practice sessions and as we come through, we are half a second behind. Can we pick it up? We are down to two, three tenths, but nope. We're not going to pick up those three tenths on this final lap. And we 
are going to fail the qualifying pace. We do actually end up with 19th, but we're going to fail two of the three. We only pick up 30 and 45 resource points total, so a total fa failure in this weekend of practice. We do end up with the 11th fastest time in the session, which seems weird. I don't know, maybe just the, the expectations of the team were just way off, just something we could not attain. They want us to qualify 11th, which uh, no way is that going to happen. They want us to beat Sebastian Vettel as well. Also not going to happen. I would be incredibly surprised if we qualify, honestly, any higher than 19th. We would really, really have to throw in a really good run or the other cars are going to have to fail. But here we go. Out for the one-shot qualifying lap. Sebastian Vettel is in first, so that's not a good sign for us as we'll see him interchange between Rossberg and Lewis Hamilton. We are currently in 22nd as we're shooting for 11th, and that's uh, that we couldn't be farther away from it at this point as we're coming around into the uh, tunnel here. Still in 22nd, we're really, really going to have to dive in to the chicane here on the bottom of the hill as we've got to pick up some time and this is a great place to do it as I'm going to uh, cut the corner there we don't get in trouble but I'm still in 22nd we were in 21st for a second there but actually coming across these final couple turns we've managed to move up to 18th even with kind of screwing up that second to last turn but here we go into the DRS down the straight can we keep 18th place Yes, we will. 18th place. Our teammate qualifies 11th. Vettel qualifies third. And there we are back in 18th. So looks like we are uh, officially going to lose our rivalry to Sebastian Vettel. No surprise there, but this is going to stink because we'll continue to be his rival until we can beat him. So who knows how long that will take. And also because of our performance, we're finally going to move off of the 10 here in the driver position. We're going to lose all three of these. So a complete and total failure here so far. They want us to finish higher than 14th place, beat Roman Grosjoin. That's going to be difficult. But 14th place actually I think is attainable. We could and should, or actually I shouldn't say we should, but we could pick up four points just being smart with how we pit and taking our chances when we can into the couple turns that actually are doable as far as passing goes. So we're going to go the one stop here, ultra softs to the super softs. That is the quickest the two pit stop, really not worth it. We got to try and save as much time as we can out on the track just to kind of take advantage of picking up some spots. But here we go from 18th. We are going to take off here an okay start. I'm going to be very, very conservative on this first turn. We do not want to get into trouble as that would really, really ruin our day as we should be able to pick up a spot here. We're going to go by Sergio Perez and Herianto has some issues there against the wall. So we are going to pick up a couple spots right off the bat. So there we go. We're into 16th. We should be able to pick up a spot again as we hit the wall there. The left front looks to be okay though as we are not. We had an opportunity there, I think, to get another spot. But because of that, we're going to run into trouble. But you know what? I'm just going to dive down here into this turn. We're going to pass now in 15th. There is Verline there as we're going to try and take him as well. But this is just a little too cheeky as we cannot make that turn. He'll stay in front of us. And then we're going to get bumped out. And there is a yellow flag. And I could just see in the side mirror, I don't know if that was Hulkenberg or Herianto, but they bumped us and they went completely sideways. They must have stopped every car behind them. The virtual safety car is out. I think this might be the first time we have seen the virtual safety car, but it's coming to an end here on the next lap. And I made a mistake here as I was not keeping the speed up enough. So when we return to racing speed, I am already way too far behind Verline that is in front of us and we lose any chance at the slipstream to try and keep up with that pack in front of us. So as you can see, already at the end of this next lap, we are way behind that pack. And look at the pack there. And actually, look at our teammate. He ran the fastest lap on that one. Hulkenberg is going to come back. And actually, Palmer going to come right on top of him and take the fastest lap time. So things going good for the other drivers, including our teammate, and not for us. As I hit the wall there, the fastest lap times continuing to roll in as we are now uh, pretty bad there on that front wing, and that is already, I'm feeling the effects of that on the turns as we're just not quite as sharp. We move ahead here, fifth lap, as we are still sitting in 15th place, so we're just one spot off of the goal that the team has for us. There are some cars coming behind us, though, so that is not a good sign. We do enter our pit window here as we come across the start-finish line, so on lap six, and this is a point where we have an opportunity to possibly undercut and maybe steal a couple spots. So I'm going to move it to Rich. And then looking at tires, they're still really not that worn. The front wing obviously is an issue. But I'm going to stay out here a little bit longer on to lap number seven. The thing I worried about here is if we came in too early, 
even moving to the super softs i worried that the tires would wear out way too quickly before the race ends and then we will just end up losing spots at the end but you can see we are battling nico hulkenberg right here and when we come across the start finish again now onto lap number eight he is still right behind us so at this point i'm thinking this is probably a good time we're gonna box at the end of this lap and hopefully we have an opportunity to beat out uh, some of these other teams and make some spots up as I hit the wall coming into the pit lane and this day I mean just a bad bad race for us and no we're not gonna undercut anybody there's already some cars in Hulkenberg follows us right behind so our idea of trying to undercut some of the drivers not gonna work at all so maybe I should have just came in as soon as the pit window opened as we're gonna lose a spot to Hulkenberg as we have to wait even longer for our wing to be repaired, a 10 second pit stop. So not all, only are we a slow car to begin with, but we also have to waste an extra eight or so seconds. So we come back out here, we're in 21st place. Coming around, we are going to pick up a spotter. We should here on Nazar as he is going to be slow coming up that hill. We will move into 20th place, but at this point there's 10 laps remaining and I don't think we have a very good shot of reaching our goal of 14th. Honestly, I would be fortunate to get back to our spot we pitted into, which was 15th, but we'll see what happens. I'm not sure how many teams are going to be on a two-stop, even though considering the speed, well, our speed being a little bit slower and how fast some of these other cars are going, they might have an opportunity, especially for the leaders, to do a second stop and still beat us back out onto the track. So uh, at this point, it's just kind of damage control. We try and get as high as we can while also trying to avoid any trouble as I'm sure, well, I can almost guarantee this is not going to be a points day for us. This will be the first race, I believe, where we do not finish in the points. We're still in 20th year as we're on this 11th lap, and we had a couple cars in front of us, the last two obviously behind us, but we're actually looking pretty good here as it looks like Palmer is being slowed by Erickson in front of us, so we're actually to pick, able to pick up a lot of time over the next couple laps. We're now on the 15th lap, and I have got my sights set on trying to pass both of these guys. I'm not sure what is wrong with Erickson, but Palmer set a fastest lap time earlier in the race. So clearly, it, I mean, it is very hard to pass on this track, but I would have thought Erickson would have kind of given way to Palmer at some point. But instead, it is our advantage as we're going to come in bumping Palmer a little bit there. But as I said, it's just impossible, especially right there, impossible to pass. Or I shouldn't say impossible, but very hard to pass there. So we're going to have to try and take our shots when it is available while also trying not to wreck anyone. Don't want to ruin anyone else's day. But here we go into the DRS. And you can see we just don't have the straight line speed. Palmer and Erickson both pulling away from us there, even with the DRS. Although I guess Erickson, or Palmer, excuse me, would have had the DRS as well. But here we go, 16th lap now. And this one, I, uh, I'm, I'm just going to take a chance there. I do... I'm surprised we didn't get a corner cutting penalty there. I guess we just barely had it, but Erickson, I don't know whether it was because he saw us or what, but he went wide, unnecessarily wide on that turn and hit that outside wall. I don't know if that is maybe an AI thing. As when this comes out, this was the last race before the patch came out. So you'll see over the next couple races, the changes in the AI, they uh, made them a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more uh, smart on the track as far as giving way when you're trying to race side by side, which I'm looking forward to because there's some situations where they kind of back off and, and let you go when they really shouldn't. But here we go. Last couple laps here, second to last lap, trying to pick up Erickson here, trying to do the same sort of thing we do with Palmer. That's not going to work as at this point, the frustration of the race kind of taking over. We do get a warning for the collision, which I'm not surprised by that. But we're in 19th place, trying to get to 18. That still would be a failure. But final lap here, this is going to be our last couple of chances. Lewis Hamilton is your race leader he obviously loves monaco uh much more than we do but here we go last couple laps we have the shot here erickson and no we're not going to catch him now as he gets into the gas immediately pulls away and it is going to be a very very disappointing 19th finish And definitely disappointing. That is going to be the worst finish we have had this season, but not surprising. I knew going into Monaco that that was going to be a really, really hard race for us to succeed in. Uh, Monaco, just, just one of those tracks that just doesn't agree with me. Roman Grosjean, our teammate, finishes 11th. Vettel is going to finish second, so we're going to lose out some more on our rivalry as well as probably going to lose a couple more points in the driver's standings as far as the team happiness. So we'll have to see what happens there. But Trey, 19th place finish. We're just going to try and forget about this one. We're still in seventh. We did drop a spot to 
Max Verstappen as he is now one point ahead of us. So we're still very, very successful. A uh, above expectation season still is sitting in seventh. Not bad. We are going to drop one to Williams as well in the constructor standings dropping to fifth, which is okay as well because we're only three points behind them. Now looking at the resource points, we are going to pick up 99. And then for the first time, we are going to pick up the first driver bonus points. And that is going to earn us a nice little 47. So we're up to 533. So right there, probably going to be able to upgrade another part of the car in the next episode. And then finally, the driver position. Let's see what the damage has been here. We're going to pick up minus two, but we do pick up plus one because we remain 14th or higher. So not too bad. We're sitting at six. And at this point, we wave goodbye to Monaco. Do not want to see you again until next season. Not looking forward to that race next year. But from here, we are going to move on to Canada in the next round. The Canadian Grand Prix is next. Hope to see you all there.